Right now, there's a nationwide quarantine. The world is pretty much at a halt because of the... As the disease spreads, if it spreads, we're very, very ready for this. We're definitely all gonna die. And with people being unable to leave their homes, they're either stuck on TikTok or absolutely bored out of their mind. So I decided I'm gonna attempt to capitalize on this situation and attempt to follow in suit with this trend that I found a couple other YouTubers doing. So today I'm gonna be attempting the Shopify quarantine dropshipping challenge. Shout out to Villis for the idea on this video. Basically, what the quarantine dropshipping challenge means is that I'm gonna be attempting to find products that help out with this quarantine. For example, toilet paper, virus masks, or even workout equipment. And I'm gonna be attempting to bank out big time. So without further ado, let's get into this video and make that quarantine paper. What's up guys, Tam back at it again, and in today's video, I'm gonna be attempting to dive into the quarantine product market. I'm gonna be building, launching, and scaling a viral product in this niche, and actually showing you guys how much money I can make in a very short amount of time. First things first, I decided to pick this product right here using the exact same product research method that I showed you guys in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check it out after you finish this one. But I actually chose this product because check out this freaking graph on Google Trends. It's absolutely nuts. That's how we know it's an absolute banger. So let's get this website launched. So guys, I'm actually gonna be giving this dropshipping store away to one of you viewers. So literally, you're gonna get the product, the domain, and everything that I built, and I'm gonna send it over to you. And to be eligible to win, all you need to do is go down, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment what you liked most about this challenge. First thing we need to do is to head over on Shopify and claim our 90 day free trial. Then we're gonna hop into the app store and download our absolute favorite app, Gem Pages. Once we got this downloaded, let's get cracking on the website. Okay guys, so I finally finished up the website and honestly, I'm feeling like Krusty the Crab. But here's the website we made. I think it looks pretty solid. We're not done yet because we need to choose a domain name and get a quick logo created. I decided to buy the domain, the Swole Bands, because it sounds pretty sick and yeah, we're selling to people who want to get swole. And for my logos, I just go on Canva and create a really quick logo with some of the pre-built templates they already have made. And now we're ready to pop some tags. My strategy for the advertising is gonna be super simple. Honestly, I wanted to use Facebook ads for this challenge, but I decided to go with Instagram influencers because usually I create these challenges in less than 48 hours and the ads would have taken quite a bit of time to get approved. But if you guys wanna see me do a video using Facebook ads, then let me know down in the comments. Now I'm gonna look for some Instagram meme pages and pages that are in the fitness niche. My strategy is to build some organic content that's gonna blend into their page. So I'm gonna be using this meme style content and lucky for me, I'm a meme god, so this isn't gonna be too difficult. Here's a little time lapse of the meme that's gonna make us the next Ty Lopez. Knowledge. Now that our meme's ready to rock, let's hit up some super trustworthy Instagram influencers and get ready to blow this store up. So guys, I just contacted about 20 to 40 and then Instagram hit me with the all powerful ban hammer. So right now I can't actually send more messages, but luckily we actually got two replies already. Right now we have three options. This lean belly tips, which honestly the engagement is pretty shit and they quoted us $30. And then this overnight fit, which is $20 and has much better engagement. But I'm still waiting on some more of these replies because I wanna find a bigger page. Maybe I could stack some of these on in conjunction, but it's not really gonna get us the profit we want for this challenge. Okay guys, so it's been a lot of negotiation and we finally have locked in two influencer posts for a total of $150. 
With both of those pages combined, they have 250,000 followers. If you actually notice, we actually got quoted for a lot cheaper influencers with more followers than what we paid for. But what we actually look out for is engagement rate. So what we do is we go on this website, Flanks, and all we do is check out their simple engagement rate. And usually we're aiming from six to 10% for smaller pages and from four to 6% for the larger pages. And I actually just sent the ad across and we're supposed to be live in just an hour and 15 minutes. So now I'm crossing my fingers and I'm super excited for the results of this challenge. So I'm gonna update you guys very shortly. What's funny enough is every time I do these challenges, the influencers completely drop the ball, and this challenge was not an exception. The post was supposed to go live yesterday, but the influencer actually ended up randomly posting it today at like 6 a.m. But luckily guys, I actually have some results to report. The post has been live for four hours, and check this out guys. If you could see that correctly, that was $109.99 for a total of two sales. But then guys, we actually checked the email and Dylan Thomas said that his girlfriend accidentally ordered this for him. You done messed up! So we're down to a new total of $54.99. Honestly guys, I'm a little bit blown away with the results that have started to come in. Things really started picking up, but we just ran into an absolute massive problem. I contacted the supplier on AliExpress to confirm the delivery time and they actually sent us a message saying that even though the delivery says it's going to take one month max, there's a two to three week waiting period for ePacket. Shit. So I decided to scratch the idea completely for shipping out via ePacket and I had to pick a little bit more difficult of a route. I went on to Alibaba and I looked for some wholesale suppliers so we could buy these products in bulk and get them shipped directly to us via express mailing. I reached out to a ton of different suppliers and finally we got a reply from this supplier right here who decided to give us an awesome price with express mailing. So I decided to lock in some units from him and get them shipped directly to me so we can make sure these customers have the absolute best customer experience. I'm confident with this decision because I'd rather the customers get the items quickly than get a bunch of chargebacks and customer service complaints, especially because this store is going to go to one of you viewers. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow the rules in order to win it. We actually spent $232 for 20 units. So I'm pretty thrilled actually because the product shipped on AliExpress was over $23 and this takes our average unit price down to just about $11 and then there's going to be probably a $3.50 maybe $4 shipping fee to ship it from here directly to the customers. Before we were actually selling it for $54.99 so I'm going to change the strategy out here and I'm going to change the product price just so it can match our new cost of goods. I decided a nice Nice cost of goods would be $39.99 because honestly $54 is pretty expensive and we've had a lot of people add it to cart but they aren't finishing up their purchase just because I think it's a little bit taxed. Also one huge benefit of this now is that we can actually put on the website that it shipped from the United States and there's a three to five day shipping time. So that's super exciting. So I'm gonna go make all these edits and I'm gonna update you after the paper starts coming in. So guys, finally the moment you guys have all been waiting for. This is going to be the final sales reveal for this challenge. Despite the fact that I placed an order for 20 units yesterday, we actually didn't sell that many. But here, let me break down our total costs associated to the revenue that we actually produced from this challenge. First things first, we spent $150 on two influencer posts, and then we spent $232 on 20 units to get them shipped directly to us. And then we had an additional $13 in processing fees, and then another $25 or so in shipping costs. So here's the actual amount of sales we made. If that zoomed improperly, you should see $349.92.
So if you do the math properly, you can see that we actually didn't make a profit in this challenge. But the thing is guys, we still actually have 12 units left. So I'm planning to actually sell the rest of these units before the store gets transferred over. And despite the fact that we didn't make an immediate profit, I'm gonna say that this challenge was an absolute success because after these last units are gone, we're gonna have about a 25% profit margin. And I think that's gonna be super solid. I'm super excited for this store to go to one of you guys. So remember the rules to win are super simple. All you need to do is drop a thumbs up, tell me your favorite thing about this challenge and be subscribed to the channel. And I'm gonna use a random number generator and actually pick one of the comments of this video. And I hope you guys got a ton of value from this challenge. This is a perfect example of different stores that you can actually run during this quarantine and actually bank out big time. And I have a big surprise for all you viewers in my next video. I'm gonna be showing you guys a video of how I actually took one of these stores and the exact layout, entire process behind it and got it to over 10K a day. You heard that right. So if you guys wanna see that, turn those post notifications on and thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next one. Take care.